Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the hottest units that was at this year's Tampa RV show. Super great floor plan, and I know you're going to love it. This is a 2022 Twilight Signature Model 2840 TWS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you guys three things we love about the Twilight and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you guys one of the hottest units that was at this year's Tampa show. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going? It's going good. Um, yeah, thank you all so much to everybody who came out to the Tampa show. Yes. And uh, came out to see us. It was great meeting all of you. And aren't we tired? We are, yeah. It's well, been a long couple days, yes, a couple yes. weeks. Well, we're not really tired because we haven't even been to the Tampa show yet. <laughs> but by the time you're watching this, we exactly. are tired. We're pre-tired. <laughs> yes, yes, we're pre-tired. But yes, guys, let me tell you, this was definitely one of the hottest units, one of the hottest displays. Um, because once you guys see the value of this thing, we know you're going to love it. Okay. Will? Let's begin. Model is Twilight TWS 2840. The actual tip tip length of the travel trailer is 32 feet 4 inches. The dry weight is 7,054 pounds and that hitch weight is 11,142 11, pounds. Wow, that's heavy. Always remember you want to use weight distribution bars. Right up here we do have a nice power tongue jack. Okay, right here. We do have pro propane tanks here, and we do have some awesome batteries here. Right up front, we have a nice fully molded painted fiberglass front cap. I love that. And then here's a diamond plate rock guard here. Coming on down the side, we do have the nice Kia-like system. Very nice big storage compartment door, and I love that it is held up by a magnet. And it's slam latch. Right there, we do have electric stabilizing jacks. I love so many features about this. And then right here is a uh, water heater. And as we learned from Elijah, this is actually a painted fiberglass right. die. It just makes it look cleaner, sleeker, newer, and nicer. Right. Coming on down the side here, we do have power right there. If you do need some power on the outside, potable water fill, potable, potable. And we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Will, we got this unit plugged in. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Will, very nice power awning with LED lights. Yes. And it's gonna sound little. I like how the door can fully extend open. Right. It's the small things in life, folks. That's what I love. That's right. Right here, we do have these nice, more ride step above steps. Three year structural warranty, one year tip to tip warranty. And it does have the extended season enclosed underbelly package, which just means it has the heated enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. Yep. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear tires. I love those. ST225-75R15. Very nice. Right here, we do have a second door leading into the bedroom. Okay. But we do have the crappy, crappy steps here. Yes. Like, we will totally mention these later on in the video. There's something that I really don't like about these, but I do like how you can access the bedroom with another entrance. Right. Coming around the back, Will. We do, oh dang that, but well, there's no ladder to get oh, a bump man. roof. We do have a nice um, bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. I love that. And then again, you can see the rear electric stabilizing jacks there. Again, that's so nice just to push a button. Cable and satellite hook up here, spray port, city water connection, black tank flush. And right here, well, you can see that it is a 50 amp unit. Nice. Right here's where the plug in is. Coming around, right over here, we do got some storage. Very wow, nice. that's a lot. Good storage for exterior storage. Yeah. Okay, over here, uh-oh, a little iffy there. That's where you're yeah. dumping your black and gray tank. But I will say it's probably the best they could have done, don't right, you think? Right, right, with the double, double slide off on the side. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the whole thing with these types of floor plans. And then right over here, you got a little solar controller right there. And then this is the other side wow. of that storage. Still really good storage up here too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
And then, oh, look at that. There's a gray tank dump right wow, there. Wow, that's pretty rough. Well, well, the outside of the Twilight looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check it out. Okay. All right, we'll start in the back. Back here is the bedroom. Then in the middle is the bathroom. Right here. And then coming towards the front is the living area, dining yes. area, and kitchen. Well, well, uh, we're actually gonna start in the middle, but first let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lipper. Okay. of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the big bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Great, so in here, we're gonna start in the middle with the living room area. Okay. First and foremost, very nice cabinetry above. How do you like that? Yeah, very nice. Held yeah. up by a strut. Yes, sir. Nice big windows all the way around with the MCD privacy blinds. It's very unique to find MCD blinds on a travel trailer. Right. Um, so that's a very nice feature. Right there, we do got power and USB. Oh, right here. Yes, sir. And I'm sitting here in a sofa. It's very nice, comfortable. The sofa is directly across from the TV entertainment center, but Very also nice. this to sofa does come out to make a bed. So let me show everybody what that looks like. Okay. Nice cushions there. Well, look at that, Will. What? They changed the cushions on the Twilight oh, now. They? Yep. Because remember, that was something that we always disliked about them. I forget to be honest. Yeah, I know, right? They all start blending together. Okay. Very nice. Try full sofa there. Yeah, very nice. I mean, bada bing, bada boom. Bing bong. Bing bong. Yes, sir. Very nice right there. And then why don't you show that pantry space? Okay. Oh. Very nice pantry space here. That's behind the TV entertainment. Center. Yes, kind of multi purpose space too, probably. If you have a guest, they can put clothes there. Anything else that you need? Yes, and then over here, it is the Sansui TV. And why don't we have this on? The TV? Well, there's a light that goes on behind it. Oh, right here. Where? Oh, look at that. Sets a nice ambiance. You know right. what I'm saying? Very nice. TV right there. Furion DVD player sound system with a fireplace right there. What is nice about that fireplace? Well, it does produce heat from electricity. Okay. And then over here is the dinette. I like this nice little light fixture. It's very Art Deco. No. Oh, okay. Right here we do have the dinette again I, I believe it's up-to-date cushions okay and updated. then updated yes <laughs> and then storage underneath there and there okay very you know, nice. this is cool it goes completely flush that's new yes yes no there's a lot of new features that i'm looking at this and liking yeah and then it does drop down to make a bed cool and then well before you do the kitchen yeah i did forget to mention on the outside and i can see the sticker here that's the Asdale sticker. Nice. What Twilight does is they use Asdale for their fiberglass, which is a grain-based composite that will never delaminate on you, which is a huge feature, especially for these travel trails. Yes. Will, would you like to show everybody the kitchen? Of course. But before I do, I want to give everybody a quick reminder. Um, we are partnered with RV Retailer, and we just got done at the Tampa show. Yes. Now, if any of you guys were there and you saw something you liked that you didn't jump on, um, make sure to reach out to us within the next couple of days yes. by using um, going to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, yep. filling out one of the forms. And um, again, guys, you know we'll try our best to get you as close to that show price as we can over the next couple of days. Yeah, and even if you weren't at the show, guys, yes. just reach out to us. Yes. We have some leverage with RVR, and we're going to do our best. That's right.
Perfect. Well, show us the kitchen. Cool. I'll start over here. Nice additional pantry space right here. Yes. A couple drawers. Very nice. We have some storage up top here. Nice Furion microwave Very right there. Very nice. And drawers right here. Yes, sir. A little more storage up top here. Okay. A nice little uh, section to set your phone or something there. Yes. Power right there. Backsplash um, across the whole back of the, the kitchen. Oh, solid surface countertops. I wasn't expecting that. Well, it's very nice and luxury. I don't yes, know if sir. I showed that one already. Cool. Nice big window here. On Huge the window. I love this. Yes. And it does open. A nice spray faucet here. Single bowl sink with yes. the insert right here. Did I say? Yeah, I said solid surface. You okay, Will? Yeah, sorry. He's no storage. To you. Yeah. No storage here, but um, nice access. You know, if any, you, you guys know things do break, so you get good access there. Nice three burner Furion cooktop right here. Yep. With the blue lights and oven. Yes, sir. And then right here is the nice Norcold compressor refrigerator. That is very, very nice, Will. Yes. Right. Something else that I like to add, there is no heat ducts in the floor. They're all on the side. Yes. Which is very nice. And Will is six foot three. And plenty he has plenty. Exactly. Yeah, the ACUs are on, guys, if you can't tell. And it's still very um, quiet. Uh, a radius shower. Well, well, it, is, it does look like a bigger radius shower. It does. It is. But at the end of the day, it's still radius. Yeah. You know, definitely doable, but it's still radius, so it still fails. Can't pass it. All right. All right. And show everybody that sink and medicine cabinet there. Okay. Nice medicine cabinet right here for very all nice. your medicines. A little bit of counter space which is nice good size sink and storage underneath the sink there great what the heck was that will the um so the awning broke on transport on transport and um so i just got a call that the awnings are backed up 12 weeks right now even so, for will from even matt's rv me. reviews yes <laughs> i mean Again, they're making awning. I mean, you I, know, if they had awnings, they'd be giving it to everybody. It's not like it's me, you know. It's not like they saved one for me. I hate that it's happening to you, but I also love how we're experiencing this yeah, because, it's real. like, in and so, Jen's watching this right now, and I really want her to put it in the video because Jen, Will's wife, is very upset. Well, obviously, Will's wife. I mean, you guys watch yeah. the show. Is very upset, but I think it sets the right expectations. Like, this is just one problem. Right. This will happen for your career as right. an RVer. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Of course. It's, all, it's always going to be something. It's always going to be little things. And, yeah. and, you know, it's not hindering you from camping. It's just inconveniencing you. And that's just what RV life is. That's right. Yeah. And so... And so, again, it's better. Like I was just telling Jen, I think it's better for us to take it. There is a second awning. Use that awning while we're camping. Yep. Enjoy the unit rather than making a payment and just letting it sit here. Yep, you know? exactly. Well, I'm sorry about that, but uh, okay. let's continue the video. All right. Great. It's now time for the toilet test. All right. And again, guys, we don't like the radius showers, but... Man, I'm not at a good angle. Let's see if this is better. Thank you, sir. Doesn't matter if it's a radius shower if you got a prime poop position, because, well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. Actually, I do lie. I do never like a radius shower. Yeah. But... If I had to pick one or the other, it would be the prime pooping position. I would agree. So you can shower anywhere. Yes. Cool. Will goes to the bedroom. Okay. And I come through the other door of the bedroom. And if I can see that camera, sir. Sure. The bed does not lift up, but there still is very good storage oh, underneath wow. yeah. that bed. Yep. Um, right here, we do have a king size bed. Very it, nice. I love that. It is. It is. Well, can you shut up the AC off? Yep. Sorry. Dump mode. Right here, we do have nice cabinetry above okay mcd privacy blinds on both sides no headboard which is really unique right but again it's a king size bed which is very nice yes and then well can you show that of course the tv mounting bracket right there with your power and everything some nice uh closet space right there yes a couple drawers right here okay and here and then some more storage underneath here yes and then what is unique it looks like there's a heat duct there yes um so it's not completely oh. 
Right, but at um, least it is in the corner there. I right, won't, no, I won't, that's not bad. I, can I won't penalize that. them for that. Yeah. And then what do we got right there? Looks like just like a little nightstand. You, there is some power down here. Okay. You okay. know, set your phone there or book, whatever. And the nice rear window. Yes. Well, well, people are dying to know what the MSRP, and we will tell them. But before we do, it's now time to give people three things we like about this unit and three things we just don't like about it. Well, what do we do first? Let's do three things we don't like. Okay. And let me go last, because my like is my dislike. Oh, well, I will go first then. Okay. Um, first and foremost, we hate these black fold-up steps. Yes. I don't mind that they're giving you the fold-up steps because you do have the solid steps, but these are the cheapest ones in the history. Give me the aluminum steps if they are going to be the fold-up steps. Right, I agree. That is number one. Number two, Will, here's what I'll say. I'm going to say the big double slide outs on this side. Okay? Yeah. That is mine, actually. So it's taking up the whole length, right? There's no slide out right there, but that's where the wheel wells are. Yep, there's no way to get a slide there. So that's going to do two things. One, it's going to give you a very heavy tongue weight. Yes. And then two, bad placement for dumping the tanks. It just is what it is. That's number two. And then, well, what's your number third? Well, that was mine. Oh, was it? Yeah. But you said that was also your light. Well, yeah, my like is that there's no slides on your camping side. Oh, okay. Well, now we need to find a third dislike, Will. Dude, we gotta give it to the shower. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. But yeah, I mean, and I actually even feel like they probably could have done something to get uh, a more square rectangle shower in yep, here. Yep, yep. You know, this floor plan is great, and it's almost perfect if they would. Exactly, you know, like, shower. exactly. I, I would have made this number one on the top awards if this had a uh, regular shower. I agree. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Okay. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Will, what was your first like? So my first like is the fact that there are no slides on the camping side. So you have the huge awning out here. It goes almost the whole length of yes, the RV. Yes, And just plenty of camping space. I mean, that's what we're here for is camping. I love that. Yep. And then uh, awning space is really good, especially for your situation, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Great, cool. so that's number one. Will, tell me number two. Okay. Number two is going to be these, this amazing kitchen i think love that kitchen i love the kitchen plenty of uh, pantry space between here and there plenty of countertop space you know good sink good fridge good micro i mean everything about it's really good i mean when it comes to inside kitchens yes this front kitchen is absolutely amazing it and i really love that is. yeah so that's number two and then well number three i'm gonna do a combo okay i love how they changed the back cushions yes because again we're assuming that but i can almost guarantee that was one of our dislikes okay but then also the fact that they give you a king size bed in here. right i love the king size beds i think it's fantastic i think once you're in an rv you know you're not inside as much you're spending a lot of time outside when the weather's nice you're outside when the weather's bad you're inside that's right but no matter what you're always sleeping in a bed and to have a king size bed is absolutely fantastic yep well, everyone, that's it. That's the review. That, oh, no, it's not. Will, you know what time it is? It's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. MSRP on this unit here is $59,446. Will, that is MSRP. Okay. Sale price, again, guys, we were selling these for crazy prices at the Tampa RV show. So if you're interested in this unit, all you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that first contact form. It doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California. We have an RV retailer close to you, and we are going to get you guys a phenomenal price on this unit. Send, a, Reach out to us, let us know, and we're going to help you guys. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, of course. Yeah, guys, thank you so much again to everybody who came out to uh, the Tampa show. It was great meeting all of you. Um, and thank you for, for watching this review. I think this is a great floor plan and a travel trailer. Yes. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes. so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.